In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. Guys, I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. I make videos about these, these giant high-powered scooters that go up to 50 miles an hour. I also make videos about working on them pretty much every single day. If it's your first time checking out my videos, I appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. We already got food in the box. We got some Bossa Nova sitting upright looking good. Let's go deliver it to the customer. Oh, really? Yeah, hey Tyrone, uh, it's your DoorDash. I'm at your gate. Somebody just let me in, so I'll come right to your door. Hey, hell yeah. Ah, awesome. Enjoy, thank you very much. Hey buddy, I can come in, right? Oh my God, are you giving away food today? What's going on? No kidding. I took this Postmates Chipotle order. I don't normally take like lower end stuff from Postmates, but I just wanted to get the day going. I already got that first DoorDash delivery under me and DoorDash is sending me all these four and five mile trips for five to seven bucks, which I can't take. So I'm happy to be on the road. Let's move this Chipotle. Yeah. All right, I'm doing a triple and I got tricked into doing it because fucking DoorDash, now they're doing this thing where they're batching two orders at once. It's a brand new thing. Ooh, I got to turn thing. everything off. I'm on three orders now. Obviously I cannot take another one. They're all like in the same area. So that's pretty fucking sweet. But man, DoorDash is doing this new thing where they send you a batch order. So I saw 0.7 miles for $6 and I took it. And then I realized, man, that fits really good in the box. So I took it, and when I opened it up, I realized it was two orders. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, this is fucking terrible. They're short, but this is two $3 orders. Two people who didn't tip. Fuck, those people are more inclined to give bad reviews and shit, too. This is kind of bullshit. I'm, I'm serious. I'm not going to listen to music. I got to focus. It's like I accidentally put myself turn into right a triple. Turn right onto North Gardner Street, then turn right onto Fountain Avenue. Luckily, everything is pretty close, but I felt like I was tricked. I got to pay more close attention to the DoorDash app. I'm doing the Postmates order first. I'm not even sure where the other, other guys are. I know they're close. Oh, that's probably my customer right there. Cool. Your destination is on the right. If I'm lucky, I'm your driver. Yeah, are you Steven? Yeah, I don't know your name, but if you know mine, that's good enough. What is your name, anyhow? Joanna. Why shouldn't yours be the one on the bottom, right? <laughs> All right, it's, it's an easy order. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so my pleasure. Thank you. On Fountain Avenue toward North Sierra Bonita Avenue. Uh, I'm only 0.3 miles from number two. What did I fucking tell you about people who, who don't tip? How there's something like, you know, on DoorDash, you only take the orders with tips. So the first guy who I just delivered to, dude, I got this food to him so fucking fast. But he said, oh, I thought you got lost. I guess he meant because he was looking at the app, but I was around the corner doing that other order. But I mean, I got the food there in like, I'll look at the timestamps later. I mean, super fast. All right, number three. Shit, where is it? Uh, Hollywood Boulevard, no problem. You know, I'm realizing when that guy said, oh, I thought you got lost, he was just looking at the app and he was, you know, tracking me very closely, but it's like just a little thing where I, I hear it so rarely. Let's see if there's any sort of weirdness or idiosyncrasy with this next order that's non-tipping. I'm mean, gonna block the name out and everything when I edit this. I don't wanna call anybody. I just want this call when downstairs, okay. Fuck. Of course, the building is fucking confusing. I mean, where? I don't know where they want us already. There's one little thing that makes this harder than a fucking order with the tip. And they didn't pick up their phone, so that's the next thing. Oh, shit. Hi, it's DoorDash. I'm here. I tried calling. All right, there's the customer. How you doing? It's DoorDash. Do you want me at the main gate or this little pathway? Okay, great. No problem. All right, oh, okay, you got your door there? No problem. I don't want you to get locked out now. 
I don't touch customers. Can I put it there? Yeah, that's fine. I'm Thank sure you, you so appreciate much. it too. Thank you very much. You too. Have a good day. You too. How many little things were hard about that order? You got the numbers of the building here, one entrance there, entrance here, not answering the phone, not responding to texts, no tip. Zero. See that shit? Zero. Well, I guess the good thing about getting pissed off is, you know, time goes slow when you're mad, not fast. So only 40 minutes have passed, and I made like six, 12, almost 20 bucks, plus a possible Postmates tip. All uh, right, now I'm taking a double from DoorDash. It's a Chipotle order and an all about the bread order. Look at his asshole jogging in the bike lane. I'm gonna run him over, I'm gonna clip him. I'm gonna give him a clip. <laughs> Look at this asshole going the wrong direction down the fucking street. I mean, Jesus! I'm gonna get the Chipotle order first because all about the bread is almost always slower. Wow, they were not ready and they were not even working on it, so I just told them I was gonna go next door and try to get this order first. Post my robot. All right, let's see what the, this is Lola. I've seen Lola before. Lola's a pretty good hard worker. Well, you there? Excuse me, it says. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Perfect. Whoa, this guy just buys soda? It feels like it's just a bag of soda. Hey, and there's Lola out there going backwards. Wow, look how advanced the robotics have become. Backwards. This fucking robot is doing a pickup. Same place I am, probably. It's an embarrassment. I'm doing a robot's job or the robot's doing my job. I don't know how to look at it yet. So that was cool. The all about the bread was ready upon arrival and uh, that should be plenty of time for them to make this order. Let's see. All right, we got the Chipotle. One of these big heavy bags. I gotta be careful that it does not overheat and explode. I actually like this person's style. A sandwich with two Mexican Cokes. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. My pleasure. See that person with a $4 tipper? I got paid $7 for the order and $4 of it was the tip. So you can see how important tips are in this business because it was not worth doing that for three bucks at DoorDash pays. All right, now we gotta go to six. All right, dangerous move here, dangerous move. Oh, wait, fucking alive. All right. Oh yeah, we got the light. Let's go, truck. Come on, truck! Holy shit, man. Come on. Alright, I like when the code actually opens the door. Alright, second part of this one. This elevator just fucking like reeks of perfume. I've been in this place before. It's 103A and 103. Thank you. And now I can turn Postmates back on. We've got no orders. Let's see who hits me first. We've done six orders in an hour and 10 minutes. I almost can't even believe that. Man. Oh, here's another order coming in for Al Bosch. Dude, I ate at this place like four times in the last seven days. Will I be doing a delivery for them? Not five miles for eight dollars. Record you while we talk. Is that okay? Why? Because well, I want to. I want, because you know my channel. It's all about scooters. I don't know if you've even seen it. I, yeah, because uh, what you're doing, I'm just too busy to hook up with you. Tell me about uh, this scooter one more time. What what's going on here? A motor in the front and the back? No, no. This is the lime, like the green shit. This is like the lime rental. Yes. So basically. I mean, this is a prototype. Uh, my other ones are all nicely done. You don't see this bullshit tape going on. So this is a 50 amp controller. The motor is a standard 300, but this pushes probably a thousand out of it. Not really? Specific. It's a standard 300 watt motor, but the additional battery, I mean, the control is that a controller? Yeah, the big battery is in the tube, as you know, online. Oh, really? And this is a third battery here. 
from the original bird. Okay, okay, it's yeah. Oh, it's this is perfect for getting around town. I'm always amazed when I see you. I can't wait to uh, pick your brain and have you fix my fucking ES4, which is just sitting there. I want to fix it and sell it. The Segway. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got it. That thing is a great little scooter. Wow, that was great to see Oleg. And I did ask him if I could put him in my videos. He said no problem. I really got to hook up with that guy. He's got to fix my scooter, and I want to learn from him. He he was talking about the electrics like it's nothing. Oh, I ratchet. Right. This makes me so happy to walk in there and just pull it right off the rack. And I know they just put it there. It's fresh. Let's get this fucking food to the customer. And I also got another order. I got a Postmates order for Zanku, a real short one that I took. Let's go. You may be right. Turn right onto the main street. Your destination is on the left. How you doing? It's good to see you, man. I got a Postmates 477732 Katie. Postmates Katie. You know, before you, they assigned another Postmate driver. He came here and he didn't want it. He was skipping all the drivers. And I thought, please, wait right on the side. He wouldn't want to. What can you do, man? Listen, listen, listen. Let me get let me get this on video. Postmates drivers are animals because they're the original drivers. I, I, I do them as a secondary. I'm sorry if any of you guys are Postmates drivers. Postmates drivers have the worst reputation for doing shit like that. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. You don't need the receipt, you have it on Oh, is that mine? Oh, uh, is this mine? Oh, I, I, thought, I didn't realize we were ready so fast. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure, see you next time. That's right, man. Postmates drivers are fucking animals. This guy's complaining. This guy is cool as shit. Never complains about anything. That's the owner of the restaurant right there. His family runs it. Fucking hysterical. Damn, one of my bungee cords popped off while I was driving. That's super fucking dangerous. Ugh. That's how you jump a big curb. What's going on with my fucking... Hey, thanks a lot. Is, is it okay if I sign for you? Yeah, I sure. never, I never seen an order that says add signature before on Postmates. Okay, That's I'm really sure. interesting. Yeah, I don't know. But you get that tip, right? I put 10 bucks on it. I will get it. Thank you very okay. much. I appreciate Are it. Are you from Michigan, by the way? I'm from Jersey. What's the 248? Oh, that's probably so you don't get my number and I don't get your number. Oh, got it, it's like got a system, it, got okay? It. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good question, though. Have a good one. Thank you. Now she tipped 10 bucks, hopefully it's there. This is a little fucking weird because the tips for Postmates come in later and the tip on here is 53 cents. I hope I didn't get screwed out of a tip because it is signed with order bullshit. Signed for order bullshit. Thank you. Oh my god, okay, thank you. Wow, I actually just like broke one of my rules. It's so fucking hot today. It was so nice in there. I actually just like sat down and waited for the order instead of going outside. I mean, the summer gets here, we'll see. So I'm gonna stick to not hanging out in these restaurants. I'm doing pretty good. I'm at about 50 bucks, including no tips on Postmates, but those can take like one hour to one week to come in. So I'll still 50 bucks, two hours, five minutes. The old woman right here is driving like a fucking maniac. Pass me on the right. She doesn't even know I'm talking about her. This is gonna be my new thing. I'm gonna call people out. I'm gonna get that 360 camera and you're gonna see all this shit. This woman just fucking like swerved right fucking around me in another car. Fucking jerk. Oh my God, this building looks terrible. I can tell it's gonna be hard to find. I can tie up right here, that's cool. Oh, this is cute. 102, 103, I'm looking for 101. Oh, there you go. Hi, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I walked right by it, I guess. So smart. Right where I left it. Man, they're giving me all these small orders. $4 for DoorDash. This is a nice tie-up job right here.
coup action. It's going pretty far. Fuck, my camera's on. Yeah, my camera's on. Some Zanku action, it's going all the way over to Doheny, but looking at the notes, I can tell that it's an easy house drop off. Let's just hope they're ready. This place is not notorious for being ready. Yeah. Okay, cool. I guess this is more like a psychological barrier than an actually does anything barrier, right? Uh, I it's mean, mostly for people just to like, you know, see that we not we wanted to like yeah. stay a little bit away and keep their distance. I know, we gotta talk to the boss about investing just, in some just glass. In case, no, just in case, don't lean on the glass, okay? <laughs> hysterical okay thank you For James Ordez, right? yeah I really had to look at that secondary order I was worried that if I just got it that means that they just got it and I don't want to sit here for 10 minutes I want to do this order and I want to do this order and go to my next one It's not a house, so I'll figure it out. Some pain in the ass setup. I have food for 309. How does it work yeah, here? Right oh, here. I'd like for, to see that. Uh, man, how do you know all the tenants who live here? <laughs> it's a big ass building. Yes. All right, I'm sending them a picture. Yeah. All right, thank you. 50 job and actually paid 11. I'll take it. <laughs> wiped out there what was that all right i'm coming to the end of my lunch shift i'll probably squeeze another order in but i'm gonna order pizza hut how long has it been since i've had pizza i don't know but they have really good uh, deals on carry out so let's order pizza hut maybe squeeze in one more order we're definitely working dinner shift tonight all right i placed my order for a pizza and one of those pizzones it's like a fake calzone but i like it and i also got an order for waba grill for six bucks to help defer some of that 16 bucks i just spent and on the way back from Wabog Grill, I can pick this up. Let's go. All righty, is that Tobias? Is that for me? All right, thank you very much. You. You're welcome. Yes. Right there, buddy, thank you. Perfect, thank you. Thank you, sir. Could you pull my order out? It's for tartar, like tartar sauce. I ordered online. I ordered a long time ago. It's right there, I can see it. It's gotta be ready. That's my order right there, in the bottom, with the zone. It's not a good way to run this place. It's got this guy waiting, got me waiting, I already paid. Thank you. People better stay the fuck out of my way, man. It's fucking bullshit to sit there and watch this lady just do an entire order when I've already paid online. I guess I'm taking my frustrations out a little bit because it's not like I can ever say anything to a restaurant or a customer. I'll, I'll take his drink. He made me wait this time. This is mine now. Let's go. Come on. He paid for it. He doesn't want it. Screw him. How much do I owe you? I just... Oh, come on. I was going to drink it. I'll take the drink. Now he figures it out. I don't know how you work in a Hollywood fucking 7-Eleven kid. I don't know how you could ever do it. This is the worst. You got to get me out of here though. How much do I owe you? It was definitely a pretty good lunch shift. We did 60 on DoorDash. 65 on DoorDash. And at least 10 bucks on Postmates plus tips plus maybe that $10 tip that maybe or maybe wasn't stolen from me. Three hours, 45 minutes, 75 bucks, pretty good. We're gonna eat this pizza, walk the dogs, then do dinner shift. Struggling trying to swap my tires, change my tires to brand new ones because all the 10 by two and a half inch spares that I have are not fitting right. So now I'm still back on these original tires on this D2. They're really bald and now I have to put air in this front tire because I don't have like a strong enough of an air pump to do it at home. So hopefully this will work. Otherwise we're a little fucked. I got Tony for DoorDash. All right, second attempt for Tony. Let's see if Tony's order is ready. All right. And okay, now it's got to be ready because they just pinged me. All right, now Tony has to be ready. You just pinged me, right? Tony? Wait on site. Oh, come on, you pinged me. You... Uh, 
fucking kidding me? Oh, that looks like a good racing opportunity here. I have the scooter in third gear and I'm just going to chase this guy straight down. That's it, I fucking win. How you doing, man? All right, the secret code is your name. What's your, I don't even know. What's your, that sound perfect. All right, man, you, get, you ever get from this place before? Yeah, yeah. It's the best. I love you. All right, man, enjoy. Thanks, man. Thank you. You too. All right, that was an easy drop off and for sure, some of the best motorcycle footage I've ever had. Cute cool, little babies. Awesome. Thank you. Enjoy. You too. Sometimes I really feel like nothing makes me happier than working. Especially when I walk into Chipotle and the order is just right there, totally ready first order that I look at but I really like being out here especially the sun is out it's like it's like almost nighttime and it's still sunny and I'm not going six miles for six dollars to California chicken care oh I'm really getting into Slipknot they got a couple songs on the playlist now for sure I mean I know they're awesome but I just never really get into them all right so apartment number seven up here I'm well, how are you? Hi, which one is a uh, 150? Uh, I think it's that. Oh, it's right in front of me, sorry. It's your house. <laughs> or it's close. That fucking double bass. It's like a machine gun. Alrighty guys, I got two orders in the box. I got the Hooters I just picked up, and I got some blood sows. I didn't film the pickup for that. I don't think I did. That thing is happening where it gets to the end of the night, the end of the full long day, and I'm just tired. I hadn't worked a full lunch and dinner shift all week uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday I only work lunch so I'm feeling it I'm tired so first we're going to El Cerrito right near my neighborhood and then we're going somewhere else and then we'll probably be done for the night we had a pretty good day maybe made 130 140 Best nothing nothing too Boulevard. great hey Victor thank you take care enjoy man alrighty guys I'm just out front of Ralph's getting ready to lock it up for the night Let's see how we did here. They're still trying to send me orders and I'm trying to sign off. Let's just do how much I did for the whole day. I don't think I had a good dinner shift. $110 on DoorDash and we did about $20 on Postmates. So about 130 bucks for the day. Not, not really great, but it is what it is. The evening shift, we worked a long time, man. We worked, well, not the evening shift. We worked three hours and 10 minutes, 20 miles. Now I am tired and I'm going home. Guys, I'm Yogi Steve. This is the Electric Scooter Academy. If you have not watched my videos before, let me thank you for making it to the end. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it, and talk to me, ask me questions, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.